I remember meeting Dennis, and, and Dennis was the life of the party. He was fun. I started drinking. People couldn't understand why I loved him because he had a reputation for being a bad boy. Carmen Electra came out just the other day and she detailed the sexual exploits she had with Dennis the bad boy Rodman. And, and, and fellas, I gotta say, <laughs> oh, you think he was just a bad boy for the Pistons? To give the folks some backstory, let's let them hear what Carmen Electra had to say about Rodman shortly after they got married. Man, I tell you. A lot of people think Dennis Rodman, okay, they think. Tattoos, they think wild hair, they think cross dressing guy who wore that wedding dress. I mean, that doesn't scream boyfriend material. <laughs> I love that. I love the colored hair. I love the drama. I love the excitement. You know, he asked me if I wanted to get married, and, and I said yes. And he said, okay, get dressed, let's go. Was there any part of you that was like, what are we doing? It's seven o'clock in the morning, we're in Vegas. We both kind of said that to each other in the car on the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this story should be near and dear to T Stream's heart because he know he's from Detroit and Robin was a big piece of the bad boys pistons. But what we didn't know was the man apparently is a bad boy in the bedroom. So this week Carmen Electra dropped a little nugget when she said he came and scooped her up in the motorcycle. They went to the Chicago Bulls facility. And they made love endlessly and constantly on pretty much every room in the Chicago Bulls practice unit, from the kitchen, from the weight room to the court. Her juices were scattered all over the place in that compound. <laughs> Fellas, and I'm, I'm gonna get this one to T Stream first. Does this surprise you that Dennis Rodman was able to pull off this bedroom candy feat? Nah, it don't, it don't, it don't surprise me. Dennis Rodman, he, he looked like he a little thought boy. So, you know, I would, <laughs> I would doubt it. You know, when you, uh, you know, when you, when you, when you're young and, and you, you know, you fired up, you just, you just go, you know, you just go. And then, you know, he probably like, <laughs> you know, he, he in the limelight now. So he like, he might as well just get it in. So it don't surprise me not one bit. Uh, Dennis Rotman, he has some, he got a nice little roster behind him. So um, I'm sure that that he's uh that he's paid his he paid his dues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Larry, jump all over. <laughs> and when I, I say jump all over, I, I don't mean literally, but jump all over Carmen Electra's comments. Man, I want to see I want to see that the the home videotape with with him, Carmen Electra, and uh, and Kim Jong Un. No, no, I'm just. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> ew, man, come on, man, jeez, man. And you know they found Kim Jong Un too. Some some pictures surfaced of him just today, so he's not dead. Yeah, uh, that's what they say. Them pictures are like three years old. But <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I mean. If I'm if I'm a young dude like Dennis Robin was and and I had Carmen Electra, man, I'd have been tapping that everywhere I could too. Man, mm -hmm. there would have been my, my DNA would have been spread everywhere. Just just a mishmash. Man, archaeologists would have been finding my DA, DNA, you know, two million years from now. Talking about we don't understand, but these two different types of DNA just seem to be everywhere. <laughs> well, uh, apparently Carmen Electra leaks like Krispy Kreme because they said that was cream all over the place. She admits openly. So to talk about an uh, ex 
in this positive light years after y'all done had fist fights with each other, um, called the police on each other, but you still talk about that act years later that you was Krispy Kreme all over the place. Man, I mean, he must, <laughs> he rebounded something, fellas, and I ain't talking about <laughs> basketballs. Yeah, He rebounded well, something. It really, it really don't take take too much, man. All, all it really do is take for us for us men to 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 get away from a little selfishness when it's uh, when it's time to make whoopee. And uh, <laughs> he went and, back uh, to the dating game. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So so once we take out that that selfishness away from it, man, uh, I think I think any man could just uh, can hold can hold his own and. Uh, uh, Put the flags down real good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Well, and Dennis Rodman, go ahead, Larry. I mean, let's not forget, dude is an elite athlete among elite athletes. So, I mean, I'm sure dude didn't have any issues with being, I'm tired. He just keeps uh -huh. going and going and going and going, I'd imagine. <laughs> Bro, hey, that Michael Jordan talked about him like he didn't have but one speed, and that was 100 miles an hour. Sometimes, yeah. fellas, you know this to be true. 100 mile an hour can mean less than 60 seconds. But uh, but also, we now know cocaine is a hell of a drug. And Dennis Rodman was using <laughs> all of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so man. That, that, that'll lead us into the next pop culture story. Damn, Carmen Electra spilling all the good tea. The